eternal spirit. How much more how the blood much of Christ who, who through, through the eternal spirit offered himself. He offered himself, but how did he do it? Through the eternal spirit. That's right. That's right. You see, the body was a lamb. That's right. Hallelujah. And you had to offer that lamb that it may bring us to the spirit of the living God. So Christ was once offered. Wait a minute. Christ. Christ was once offered. It ain't offered. talking about the spirit. No. They're talking about the flesh of Christ. That's right. It was once offered. So Christ was once offered. He was once offered. To bear the sins of men. To bear the sins of men. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time. Yes. Without sin unto salvation. And. And Hebrews chapter 10 and at verse 10. All right. By the which will we are sanctified. We are set apart. Through the offering. Through the offering. Of the body of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So. Hallelujah. Right then. See that don't mean God died. No. He offered the body and body. the body died. That's it. God stayed alive. <laughs> That's right. When he pierced the body, you ain't pierced God. No. Because God is the spirit and you can't pierce the spirit. That's right. Amen. You just pierced the body that God was in. That's it. Amen. God didn't believe the body bled. That's right. And if the body was the sacrifice, the body was the lamb. That's it. And that's why we all here now. Because that body was offered once. Once. Once for all. That's once. That's it. You see, there, a lot of folk don't know why the Bible mentioned once for all. Once for all. You see, in the old time, the priests had to go into the temple once every year. Once every year. With the unspotted lamb or sacrifice and then offer it. But it had to be once every year. Once every, every year. Every year, they had to do it. That's right. Jesus come and had to do that stuff yearly. <laughs> no, no. He knocked it out one with one shot. One shot. And got it done. That's right. All right, go back to where you were. Come on, Williams. Back in St. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 16. Yeah. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ. Thou art the Christ, the, the son, son of the, the living God. God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What did Jesus say? Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. For flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee. Flesh and blood didn't reveal it to you, but what? But my but Father, the Spirit, which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. That's it. Amen. So therefore, to take the spirit to give it then and take the spirit of the living God to give it now. Therefore seeing. All right, get this. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1. Therefore seeing we have this ministry. As we have received mercy. We, we have received not. mercy. We don't faint. It's a beautiful thing not to faint in God. Oh, yes. Give up, surrender, yeah. knock off. <laughs> that's right. And that's what many folks do. They come in this happy, overzealous, over anxious, hear the broadcast, get baptized. Some repent, get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost just for a while. But they run so fast, they don't wait to be taught so they can be armed right. Mm, that's it. Nice, nice. You know, teaching will arm you. That's teaching right. teaches you how to endure, yeah. right. how to stand, how to be patient, because it takes all those things for you to stay with God. That's right. You just don't get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You didn't come to church shouting every service. Just shout, 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 jump, 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 and don't hear no teaching. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. You got to get some root in you. Oh, yeah. Amen. You take a plant and put that seed down there. The seed has to be quickened when it dies. That's right. And then slowly but surely, roots start to go down in the earth. Yeah. And when roots start to go down, then the plant, because it's quickened, you'll see that little tender plant, that yeah. stem come up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's tender. That's right. It's not settled. That's right. It's just tender. Somebody can walk by and just pull it right up. That's right. And because many of us is not settled, not grounded. Not grounded. Some come in to hang around church just for a while. Yeah. But when you really want to be right with God and on the receiving end of the teaching of the word of God, you will not master overnight the lessons that God brings. No way. It takes years yeah. of evolving That's right. around the word of God, That's right. but you have to be striving while you are evolving. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Listen. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, uh -huh. as we have received mercy, we faint not. We don't faint. We don't give up. We don't quit. That's right. Amen. That's it. Not quitting. That's a beautiful thing. Not quitting. Yeah. You look back how long you've been walking with God and you're still continuing. Amen. Still continuing in the midst of hardship. That's right. I had many folk, Williams often asked me, after all these years, he still asks me, how do you do it? <laughs> I told him I don't. God do it. Amen. 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 I don't do it, can't do it, wouldn't do it, wouldn't want to do it either. That's right. 
It's only by God's grace. I don't tell the people like these dumb preachers, it isn't nothing out there. No. <clears throat> you can't tell me it ain't nothing out there in the way I travel the world. Amen. It's a whole lot out there. A whole lot. Some of you don't travel the world, but you see enough in your own neighborhood. That's right. Amen, man. There's enough in your own neighborhood to keep you right out there in the world. That's right. Serving God, you have to sacrifice your love for the world. If if you continue in the faith. Do you hear this? In Colossians chapter 1 and verse 23. If what? Begin at verse 20. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 20. Follow me. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, uh -huh. by him to reconcile all things unto himself. Yeah. By him I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. Uh -huh. And you that was sometime alienated. You. Yeah. That was sometime. Alienated. Alienated. And enemies in your mind. What kind of mind we had towards God? Enemies in your mind. You enemies. know what you know what an alien is? I'm not talking about a UFO. You know, when you are an illegal citizen, you're considered an alien. Yeah. And in order for you to be a citizen of that country, you have to get your citizenship. That's right. Well, God wants you to be a citizen in the church. That's right. There are requirements for you to have your citizenship. That's right. Amen. You have to hear the word of God, then repent of your yeah. sins. Mm -hmm. Be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ and then keep around the teaching of God. That's it. You're not a citizen yet. That's right. Even though you repented, you've been baptized in the water in the name of the Lord Jesus, but you're not a citizen yet. That You're still working yeah. on your citizenship. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Someone say, I'm not a citizen yet. Oh, no, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Amen. You have to have the Holy Ghost yeah. speaking in other tongue and the Spirit of God give utterance because the Bible says you're baptized by one spirit into one body. That's right. And when you receive the Holy Ghost, which only God can give, yeah. that's what makes you a citizen in God's church. Now, therefore, Listen at this. in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 19, Glory to God. Now, therefore, now, therefore, you are no more strangers. You are no longer strangers and foreigners, and foreigners but fellow citizens, but fellow citizens with the saints. I told you so. That's right. Amen. To be a fellow citizen with the church, that's right. uh, in the church, you got to have the Holy Ghost because you, God put you in the body. That's yeah. right. And when God put you in the body, now you have to learn God rule. That's right. So you don't lose your citizenship. That's right. You know, you can live in a country and lose your citizenship. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. you can. Yes, you can. You can come to church but lose your citizenship. You, so, so you got to abide by God rules. That's it. God have rules. Oh, yeah. God have regulations. Oh, yeah. Amen. You don't need to get mad at Pastor Jen and leave. Listen, I didn't, I, I didn't write the rules of the Bible. No. But there are rules here. Let us walk by the same rules. Look at all this Bible. In the book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 16. My job, I'm simply a rule enforcer. That's right. That's all. That's it. Amen. These rules, hurt. they hurt too, don't they? Oh, yes. Yeah. Amen. Certainly, I can look at you. You look like they're hurting. <laughs> Amen. And uh, the rules hurt me. Yeah. I want to say you don't act like it. You smile when you preach, Pastor Jim. That's all right. That's all right. When I was out there in the hood, I would smile and laugh when I mix it up. Oh, yeah. That's all right. But them punches that fella put on me still hurt. Amen. The punches that the Bible put on me, they hurt, brother. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> a lot of folks right. get mad and take it out on me. Why do? Why did he say that? Don't get, get me out the picture. That's Amen. Right. Don't you know, man, I would to God I can just talk to God and get him to change his mind. My Lord. About all kind of things. I guarantee if I ask all, all of you here now. Oh, yes. Just write down the things that you want God to change his mind about. <laughs> oh my lord many of you would be so tickled oh yeah so happy you'll be writing and talking to yourself that's right hey, amen oh my lord you'll be reaching into your bag of information that's right all in your dreams all in your imagination and all of it will be a wish list that's right wouldn't it be? That's right. But God ain't going to do that. No. By the time we are done with that wish list, <laughs> won't be nobody fit for heaven. No. That's true. Nobody. Nobody. Because if we can harvest our wants, harvest it, mm. and take it back with us, with God, mm. it'll be worse up there than it is down here. That's right. Why, Pastor Jennings? Because your deeds will be eternal up there. 
That's right. The temporary down here. That's right. And on the top of the list mm. will be lust. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be on the top, that'd be on the top of everybody list. That's, that's listening. That's right. Lust. Lust. Lord, let me be saved as long as I can keep doing this. Yeah. yeah. Keep doing the other. Then that way they ain't got to abstain and struggle and be somewhere laying around crying and shaking and quivering, <laughs> having withdrawal symptoms. I mean, they don't have to go through none of that. That's right. Just, just if the Lord would just say, all right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. But God said, <laughs> God said, no, no. Sometime when I preach against certain things and go to the Bible, you should see some people. <laughs> My God, they fold their arms and smack their mouth and get it. <sighs> yeah, that's true. Eh? Amen. And then some just look at me and just say, so I'm about my read their mouth. They be saying, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Tom be saying, help them, Lord. I didn't write it. That's right. Ask God to help you. Amen. Ask God to have mercy on you. That's right. Thank God, my job, I'm just your mailman, your friendly neighborhood mailman. That's it. My William's got so many letters that he's holding there. That's right. Just opening one envelope is enough. <laughs> That's right. Come on, son. Back in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 21. What is it? And you that were sometime alienated. Alienated. And enemies in your mind. Have you ever was an enemy in your mind towards God? Show sure we were. Oh, yes. yes. We all living now by God's mercy. That's it. Uh-huh. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works. By what? By wicked works. By being a fool. That's right. Yeah. That's and right. there's many of us here love to go to the club. Couldn't wait till the weekend. Couldn't wait till Friday to get here. We was already practicing our steps on the job. Amen. Just couldn't wait, brother. Got home, got cleaned up, changed clothes. You and your buddies and your roamies, y'all was just, y'all knew how. A lot of folk didn't go to one club that Friday night. Mm -hmm. They made it their business to hit about three or four or five of them. Yeah. And then when those clubs close, if they close, they'll go to an all-night spot. Amen. So they can sit there and just drink, 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 and get high and meet some strange woman and if he's so drunk, he, he don't know what he's talking to. Amen. I often think of a brother, he's not, <laughs> he's not here now. Uh, man, he was telling me how he was, uh, I don't know whether he was drunk or not, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But he said he either was in a department store or somewhere talking, having a long conversation mm -hmm. to a mannequin. <laughs> what? Hey, Amen. Long conversation with the mannequin, oh, and he was wondering why the mannequin was quiet. He, to him, the, you know, mannequins don't talk. Oh, he said he was just talking and talking, and he said in his mind he was wondering, well, maybe the person, you know, don't want to say anything. He said, but then when he noticed, uh -huh. he waked up. Yeah. Hey, Amen. It was a mannequin. Mm. And when you're drunk, It'll make you do all type of foolish things. That's right. Off to think of the fella I came up with in the hood named Nate. We called him Ghost. And as a child, I was sleeping on the third floor, and, and I heard that noise. And I think it was Tuesday night, if I remember, it was trash night. And folks had all type of stuff out there. Well, my next door neighbor had a refrigerator. <laughs> and Ghost was coming down the street drunk. Talking to himself loudly. Yeah. And I happened to look out the window. I said, oh, there's Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> he was just cussing and talking to himself because, you know, liquor make you talk to people that's not around. That's right. <laughs> you that have experienced that, you can say, man. <laughs> liquor make you hear voices that's not speaking to you. Liquor make you see things that's not in existence at the time. That's right. So Ghost was coming down the street and bumped up against the refrigerator. And then he cussed the refrigerator out. <laughs> he told the refrigerator, get out of my way. Don't you see me coming by? He was standing there talking to it. Had his cool kangaroo cap to the side, throwing wolf tickets to the refrigerator. My Lord. Then he pushed the refrigerator, and the weight of the refrigerator went back, came back up, hit Ghost in the chest. Ghost was like, were you hitting me? 
Ghost cussed the refrigerator out. My Lord. And the refrigerator and Ghost had it out. Amen. Ghost knocked the refrigerator down and stomped him. Then stood over it and told it, get up. <laughs> get up. My Lord. So that's what liquor do to you now. Liquor Make do. a fool out of you. Listen at this. And you that was sometime alienated. When you was alienated out there in the world, smoking your weed, getting high. Mm. Hey Amen. Yet you folk out there now vaping, just vaping, 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 vaping right. drinking, gambling, partying. That's right. Out there all night. Yeah. Amen. The moment you get sick, you want to become religious. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Become religious when the doctors say, well, we've done all we can do. <laughs> when the moment they hear the doctor say, we've done all we can do, right then, right then. they call their religious mama. That's right. Amen. Or their religious daddy. Daddy, he come down with the hymn book and mama rubbing his hands, singing uh, some type of old religious song. Amen. But the moment that man or woman start feeling a little bit better, yeah. just a little bit, he or she going to light that cigarette back up That's right. or get that whiskey. That's right. And here is God Almighty that you treat worse than you treat a dog. Amen. He still be merciful to the fool. That's right. All right. And you that was sometime alienated. Uh -huh. And enemies in your mind. Enemies by, in your mind. By in, wicked in works. In your mind enemies. you was an enemy by your wicked works. You cuss God out. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You call God a MF. Amen. You Amen. say God you don't exist. There's no God. There's that's, no you. God. That's, that's you. That's some, some of you here did it. Mm-hmm. The devil had you blind, you cuss God out. Right. Say God don't exist. And then the devil make you look at the world and say, if there's a God, why is it poor people? God ain't never said everybody going to be rich. What kind of dumb question is that? That's like saying, if there's a God, why is so much unemployment? Don't blame unemployment on God. That's right. God said you're going to have the poor. How long, Lord? Always. Always. Hear this. And you that was sometime alienated. Look at yourself now. I want everybody here to look at themselves and you that are watching. Mm -hmm. Look at your cigarette sucking, amen, beer guzzling, dice rolling self. Amen. Here you've been out there on the corner 15, now you're 75. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Haven't made no changes. That's right. None. That's right. Have you ever came up with friends and you go down to your old neighborhood and see them doing the same thing for the past 50 years? Yeah. Drank themselves to death until no white is even in the eye. Amen. Eyes all yellow. Yeah. Amen. Lips all black from cigarettes and hard liquor. That's right. Fingertips got all type of burn marks on them from smoking that blunt. Just, just, just got all down there. Yeah. Lips wrapped around what's left and his finger and his thumb. Like he kissing his fingers. <laughs> Amen. Like he kissing his whole finger. That's right. Eh? That's right. Oh, thank God. You get what I'm talking. And you that That's was... That's you, Villa! And you. And yeah. what? And you. And you. That was sometime alienated. Look at you. Amen. 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 So 18, 19, 20, 21, riding around at night picking up young girls. Mm -hmm. And now you're 78, 79, and 80. That's right. Amen. With contact lenses on and bifocals. <laughs> That's and right. And a hearing aid. Still riding around picking up women. Amen. Having changed. Having changed. Having changed. And many of these young, ignorant, dumb girls will just jump at anything as long as they show them green. That's right. As long as you show them money. That's right. Amen. I'm laboring hard to pull America off the streets of wickedness and the world. Amen. And bring you back to the original place that God intended for you. That's right. And the original place that God intended for you was to be holy. Be holy. Don't you know before Adam fell, the garden of Eden was all right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Before, hallelujah. Oh, Thank yeah. God before the serpent deceived the woman yeah. and before the fall of the man, oh, everything yeah. was clean. Everything was holy. Everything was spotless and blameless. That's right. But here come the serpent. Come the serpent. 
And the serpent is still here. Oh, yes. That's why folks just go to the Bible, to a, go to church to appear to be religious. Hmm. Go there on a Sunday or go there on a Saturday, but they just as full of hell as that devil himself. That's right. All right. And you that were sometime alienated. What is it? And enemies in your mind. Enemies in your mind. By wicked works. By your works. Yet now hath he reconciled. Wait a minute. Hmm. But now. Yet now hath he reconciled. He got you straightened out. That's right. And in the body of his flesh through death. Wait a minute. How did he reconcile us? In the body. In the body. Of his flesh. How? Through death. That's why God was manifested in the flesh. That's right. That's why God took on flesh. That's that right. he may do what? Yet now hath he reconciled. That he may reconcile you. In the body of his in flesh. In the body. He want to connect you to the spirit. Through death. Through what? Through death. The death of the son of man brought reconciliation. That's right. That's right. Without death, Without death, no atonement. No atonement. Without death, no reconciliation. That's right. Without death, no church. That's right. Without death, no life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And now he come along and made a rule here. Yeah. We got to be killed all, all the, the day, day long. long. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Don't get mad at me. I'm, I'm just a murderer. That's all. You want to know what I am? I'm a murderer. As it is written. Uh, amen. I'm a murderer. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an assigned assassin. That's right. Where they got I'm a sharpshooter. A sharpshooter. Sent by God to kill everything that's not like hallelujah. That's hallelujah. 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 Take God that's not like God. I said I'm sent to do that. That's right. As it is written. I, I, I wouldn't do that on my own. No way. No. No way. What I care. No way. And man, I'd be sitting at my home, sitting back outside on a day like the day, yeah. in a nice hammock, swinging, listening yeah. to some nice, mellow music, and the birds nice. chirping, nice. and a hummingbird that may stop by and visit me once in a while. <laughs> Amen. But besides that, I'm here. Right Thank here. God with the Bible. With the Bible. To kill everybody. <laughs> that's right. Everyone that's here and all the millions that's watching. I'm, I'm, oh, yes, I'm sent to, to kill you. I'm just sent to do that. That's right. Certainly, don't blame me. That's right. I confess I'm a murderer. <laughs> As it is written. I confess, I said. <laughs> that's right. Hey, man, that's why a lot of you don't like me because the word of God shot you and it hit you. Oh, yeah. And struck the very thing you love and don't want to give up. That's right. Right. Hallelujah. And of course you don't want to give it up. You say he's mean. He's the devil. He's that. Yeah. Call me what you want. That's right. But before you go back with God, Hallelujah. you got to surrender everything that God is against. That's right. You're going to have to do it. That's right. Eh? As it is written. As it is written. For Hallelujah. thy sake. For thy sake. We are killed. How often? All the day long. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. Nice. You're killed all the day long. And who is it good for? For, for thy sake, we. we. It's what? We. For what? For thy sake. Oh, it's for your good. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yes. It's for your good. That's why God sent a preacher, for your good. <laughs> That's right. You can never die in a false church. No. You can't be killed in a false church. No way. False church don't shoot no Bible. No. Hey, Amen. Right. You got rocks and you got little spitballs. Amen. Little false prophet come along, what he preached don't hurt you. No. You just go there, you know, the choir starts singing and you feel moving. You start crying and loose and then your fake three inch eyelashes get loose and your old red lips get all smudgy and tears black because the online shadow you're losing that. That's right. You get a little happy from the choir, jump around behind your chairs and you go back to the ladies room and adjust your wig. That's right. Yeah. Amen. 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 He don't preach nothing against the sin. No. Nothing. No, no. The Holy Ghost says. As it is written. It's written. For thy sake. It's for your good. We are killed. How often? All the day long. You better emphasize on all, Williams. All the day long. Nice. Amen. Huh? Amen. I mean, well, Pastor Jennings, how you killed all the day long? Hmm. I don't hear preaching all the day long when you hear the word of God and is in your heart no. and you're about to do something you ain't got no business <laughs> doing. Right. That dagger of the scripture start hitting you. That's right. The Bible said the Holy Ghost will bring things back to your remembrance. That's right. And when the Holy Ghost brings things to your memory, that means you know better. So oh, yeah. therefore, he's striking your mind that's and it. striking your heart. That's and right. when he do that, that's what makes you say, Lord, yeah. forgive me. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lord, take God. That's right. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go ahead, Hallelujah. man. 
Hallelujah. 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 That's what make your crowd. That's right. Preach it. Make your crowd just sorry. That's right. Why? You don't, you don't want to go to hell for what you've done. That's right. That's right. Oh, no. As it is written. But it's written. Hallelujah. For thy sake. God. For your good. We are killed. How often? All the day long. Hey, Amen. I'm determined to keep shooting you too. Uh, oh, yeah. You out there watching, you can call me a SOB and a MF and that which you do. And right. Call me an atheist. Call me an antichrist. Call me nigger, nigger, <laughs> niggy. Right. Call me whatever you like. Whatever you like. Hey, Amen. Call me whatever you like. But when it's done, I'm right. coming back up with Bible. That's right. And, and I don't have to load it. Oh, no. no. It stays loaded all the time. That's it stays right. stays loaded. That's right. And we coming back. That's right. Holy Ghost, oh, thank God with the same thing. Same thing. Hey, as it is written. It's written for here. For thy sake. For what? For thy sake. For your good. We are killed. What? We are killed. How often? All the day long. That's why you love the false prophet. Oh, yeah. He come along and pet you. That's right. You got a second wife? Yeah, Bishop. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. That's I right. got one too. That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> Come rub you. Yep, Bishop, right. what about this baptism in the name of Jesus Christ? I was baptized for the Holy Ghost. That's all right. That's all right. That's that's all right. That's all right. It's the Trinity. That's right. That's the, that's the Trinity. Oh it, he'll rub you down. Yes, he Bishop, will. is it a sin to smoke? No, you got a light. You got a light. Huh? Oh, <laughs> so where they God. That's where that's the preacher right. is. That's right. The bishop will call you. So what you doing tonight, Deacon Brown? Why nothing? Well, look, there's a club about three blocks away from the church. It just opened up. Come on. Come on. Well, I've been there already, Bishop. Well, come, come on and show me what it's like. That's right. You old hell-bound, Bible-carrying, Cadillac-driving, manicured, nail-cross-wearing heathens. That's right. You're going to come back to Bible or to hell you going? As it is written. It's written here. For thy sake. How in the world you expect to be right with God without death? That's right. That's right. For us to be complete in him, it got to be a complete death. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Bible said we are dead right. in him. In him. And our life is, is hid, hid in Christ. Christ. In God. Glory to God. That's With right. God. That's right. Glory to God, in order for us to die, you got to have a killer. Oh, yeah. A killer got to be on the loose. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. On the loose. That's Killer right. on the loose. That's right. You better give me the book of Kings. I yeah. want to get Bible, Bible for this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, man, I'm going to give you Bible for a killer on the loose. Second Kings. <laughs> Second Kings. Second Kings, chapter Kings. 9 chapter and nine. verse 10. Chapter <laughs> 9 and uh, chapter 10. Amen. God raised a man up by the name of Jehu. Jehu. Thank God and brother, the spirit of God came on Jehu, and he had charge from God to kill. That's right. Physically kill. That's right. Yeah. All the house of Ahab. Now, I don't have that. Uh, I'm not sent to physically kill you. No. I'm sent to spiritually kill you. Oh, yeah. Hey, Amen. Because it does more damage. Oh, yeah. That kills your mind. That kills your eyes and <laughs> kill your ears, kill your mouth. And That's right. Kill your hands and kill your feet and kill your productive organs. Kill you when you sit down. Kill you when you stand up. Go ahead, man. And catch you while you're sleeping. Catch you in bed and kill you. That's right. Hey, That's hey, right. Man, cause I, someone said, in your sleep, hold that. Give me the book of Jude. Jude. Jude only had one, one chapter. That's right. Let's see that the Bible get target practice on our sleep all in our mind. That's right. R right while we're snoozing. That's right. Listen at this. Jude chapter 1 and at verse 8. Follow me. Likewise also Likewise also also these filthy dreamers these dirty dreamers defile the flesh. Amen. If you're a dirty dreamer, what condition your flesh is in? Defile the flesh. Yeah. Amen. That's Filthy target dreams. practice, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's a Bible shooting at your subconscious thought. That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Likewise also these filthy dreamers. Doing what? Defile the flesh. Amen. She's married, mm. but she saw someone that caught her eye. That's and she right. just can't shake them off. Even when she see them in person, she look at them. That's and just right. say to herself, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Amen. The Bible, and then she started dreaming because the Bible said the dream comes. To a multitude of business. Of business. And when she lay down, mm. she go one step beyond. That's right. Then to the outer limits. That's right. That's right. What happens? She commit adultery. Likewise also. In a dream. That's right. But the question is, how often how with often. how many? Mm. Question you too, brother. That's how important. often That's with important. how many do you fornicate with? One said, I'm a virgin. How? How? 
But I ain't never touched nobody. That's wonderful. You talking about with your hands, with your mouth, with your feet? Yeah. You're a virgin physically, but physically. you're going to be a veteran mentally. Mentally. And spiritually. That's right. Mm -hmm. Likewise. Not, 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 not too many amens. No, no, no. no. <laughs> right. Very little. Right, very early, little. Earlier, folk were saying hallelujah and glory. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Waving their hands, fill, filling the spirit. God, we hit that spiritual thing. My God, everybody look at you. <laughs> How many times a day mm. do you fornicate or commit adultery? Amen. How many times a day? Amen. Go ahead, brother. How many times a night in your dreams? In your dreams. My Lord. My Lord. Wonderful. Even some of the ones that are saying amen is guilty. That's, that's right. But they got to say amen because it's the truth. That's right. You got to say amen because it's the truth. You that's got right. to. That's right. That's true. Amen. <laughs> You got to say amen. Amen. I'm to say, I'm not going to say it's going to give me away. If you shut up, you, you, it's going to give you away anyway. That's right. Because the Holy Ghost said. Likewise also, these filthy dreamers. Ah. Uh, the fire These the filthy dreamers. Filthy dreamers. Not one dreamer. No. Dreamers. Filthy dreams. What does it do to their body? Defile the flesh. That's why he wake up. Amen. Yeah. Huh? He wake up all tight, gazing. That's right. God need a cold shower. That's right. Huh? That's true. She wake up, jump up in bed. <laughs> that was the devil. That was you. Uh, amen. Oh liar. Trying to pass the buck on the devil. That's you. That's right. If something look good to you because you born again, because that man is married or woman is married, that God ain't going to make them ugly. No. Because they married, just face that fact. That's right. That's right. You see, I'm a realist. Oh, yes. And man, we love to pour your nose down to Bible. Amen. What did the Bible say, William? Likewise also, these filthy dreamers. Holy dreamers. Filthy dreamers. Sanctified dreamers. Filthy dreamers. What does it do to the body? Defile the flesh. Amen. What else? Despise dominion. Despise, reject authority. And speak evil of and dignities. And speak evil of dignities. Of dignities. All right. Come on now. Let's go back to where we were. Now we're in second Kings. I want Kings. them to breathe a little bit better Let's now. Breathe a little. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and maybe I'll get some more of them amens like I had earlier. <laughs> hey, <Yeah. don't> <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Let me show you in the Bible where God sent a man mm -hmm. in the Old Testament. Yeah. And made him a mercenary. That's right. For his glory. Mm, for his glory. For his glory. <laughs> That's right. Because when God say, I kill. That's right. He can kill you through somebody. Yes, he That's can. Right. 